I'm Anhar Hassan. I'm a neurology fellow at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I'm talking about my study, dopamine agonist triggered pathologic behaviors. Surveillance in the Parkinson's disease clinic reveals high frequency. The point of the study was to determine the frequency of uh, pathologic behaviors or impulse control disorders that can occur in Parkinson's disease patients who are taking dopamine agonists. About 2005, after they'd been on the market for several years, it was noted that they can cause impulse control disorders. So things like new onset pathological gambling, new onset pathological hypersexuality, and then compulsive binge eating, compulsive um, shopping or spending, compulsive computer use or hobby. The first reports actually came out of Mayo Clinic and some other centers around 2005. And this is a follow-up study just to determine how frequent these behaviors actually are. We also looked at the dose of dopamine agonists the patient was taking and it, there seemed to be a higher risk if the patient was on a higher dose of the medication. So the bottom line message for patients is that um, that there is a potential that they may develop a new onset behavior change with these medications and it's important that they're aware of it and that their family or loved one is aware of it as well. Sometimes patients aren't aware if they develop a new behavior but their family member will point it out to the doctor. Bottom line message for physicians is if your patient is taking this medication or you're prescribing it for your Parkinson's disease patient uh, it's important to ask them at each visit if they developed a new onset pathologic behavior and if so to correspondingly reduce the dose of the medication or stop it. 